The suspect accused of stabbing two men to death and seriously injuring a third on a Portland, Oregon train is due in court today. President Trump called these attacks unacceptable. He tweeted this, the victims were standing up to hate and intolerance. Maria Villarreal is outside the Multnomah County Justice Center with how a bystander helped save the third victim's life. Maria, good morning to you. Well, good morning, Gail. This morning, Jeremy Christian is set to be arraigned in court on several charges, including murder. But this morning, we are learning more about the lone survivor in this attack and the man who helped him in the situation. Micah came running out, holding the left side of his neck, going, somebody help me, call 911. Marcus Snipe was waiting for the train with his family Friday afternoon when he suddenly heard people screaming and running for safety. That's when he spotted 21-year-old Micah Fletcher, one of three good Samaritans who police say was stabbed by Jeremy Christian while defending two young teens during a racist rant. I wrapped my hand over his to try and keep pressure on his neck and then uh, somebody tossed us a uh, little toddler jacket to put over the wound. Micah's family credits the Iraq War veteran with keeping the college student alive. He'll be with us forever. He's, he's his life saver. Micah is now recovering at home. The two other men who stood up against Christian, 23-year-old Talese and Mirdanam Kaimechi and 53-year-old Army veteran Ricky Best, died from their injuries. Clearly, what happened on that train was an act of terrorism. What happened on that train was a hate crime. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler says he hopes the tragedy will inspire change. He's calling on the federal government to revoke the permit for a rally later this week, organized by the same alt-right group that planned the protest where Christian went on a hate-filled rant last month. Yes, it's protected by the First Amendment of the Constitution, but I'm also asking people to use common sense and have some decency out of respect for the fact that this community is still mourning and we're still angry. The rally's organizer right now says he does not promote hate speech and he is not associated with Jeremy Christian. At this point right now, he is not canceling his event. The ACLU is also weighing in on this debate. Their director saying that government censorship is not the answer. Charlie, so far, more than a million dollars has been raised online for the victims and their families. Thanks, Maria.